Ja, schönen guten Tag. Willkommen in einer neuen Location zum Musikunterricht mit Jens Lissert. Heute aus Köln-Ehrenfeld im Dein TV Studio. Eine neue Location, eine neue Crew. Und äh, ja, wir haben jetzt drei Monate Pause gehabt und heute haben wir eine exklusive Premiere für euch. Heute wird die erste Show sein mit meinem Gast, der gleich zu mir kommen wird, die auf Englisch stattfinden wird. Also, ich hoffe, ihr sprecht alle gutes Englisch und versuchen das möglichst äh, simpel zu halten. Und ich begrüße meinen alten Freund, DJ-Kollegen, mit dem ich sehr viel erlebt habe, aus England. Come on over, Steve. <lacht> Steve Mason. Hi. Hi. Hi, Steve. Hey, nice. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. So, well, we are a long time in the business. You are a long time in the business. And yeah, we're going to talk tonight about today, tonight, whatever about music business, about mm -hmm. back in the day, stories, yeah. about your career and um, you had a nice travel to Cologne? Very good. Yeah. I was playing last night, so we're a bit tired. But oh, okay, so, good, yeah, yeah. okay. And then the adrenaline from the show will gonna keep you awake, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and uh, now we're gonna start with the show and uh, the first record uh, which you picked... Um, Model 500. Model Fantastic five. little beginning, always gets the place going. It's got a beautiful little bass drum roll into it. Shall okay, go it? I'm gonna start the recording, one second, and... Let's and we press one, press two, two three, three, and play. play. Yeah, this is the sound of the beginning of the club. Comes in nice and low, comes in nice and cool, and then builds, and everyone just goes. Yeah, very that's cool. So, what's what what year was this track? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> 1995. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, uh, well. Now we're going to talk about, before you play the second record, uh, tell us something about uh, when you grew up with music. What was your, when you came to I the music? Was, I was into um, reggae and stuff like that when I was younger and a bit of punk. Yeah. I was into punk a bit. And then, um, then I got into, I was really onto the radio side of things, yeah? So I used to be, when I was a little kid, I was on hospital radio. Okay, hospital radio. Yeah. Hospital radio ah. for the patients who were ill in yeah. the hospital. So then we just played any old crap, really. It was just what old people wanted to hear. Yeah, <laughs> cool. So, uh, but then... What, what I, was your first record? My first record I bought. Oh, my a 12-inch, a 7-inch Elton album? Or what was it? <laughs> <laughs> I remember what my, my one. You? I tell you what my one is. Go on, then. My one was from The Carpenters, Please Mr. Postman. Oh, so, well, yeah. <laughs> a 7-inch single. Oh, very that was nice. my first yeah. record. Um, God. I can't remember. <laughs> I have so many now. There's so many. I don't know. Well, as a DJ, you have to remember what your first you record do. was. You're normal. supposed to, aren't you? If you're yeah. a DJ. But I'm not normal. Okay. So I'll I'll be normal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I um I went on from that sort of um, punky thing, then went to university, and at university I got into this kind of alternative disco thing. Okay. So we started to play the Cure and those sort of alternative things, like back in early 80s, this is. Yeah. And then I went abroad and I was working all around the world on, 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 a, on a... I got a job on a pirate radio ship. Pirate radio, yeah. yeah it was popular. Tell us about something about these pirate things, because maybe German people, they don't know about the pirate thing. Well, this, this was a bit different, because this was a job on a, on a thing called the Voice of Peace. So the Voice of Peace was a ship anchored yeah. off Israel. Um, broadcasting message of love and peace to the Middle East. That was the whole point of it. It was set up by John Lennon and various few people years ago, and it was a little Dutch inland um, vessel that was yeah. six miles off Tel Aviv. All right. And we had an AM and an FM transmitter 24 hours a day <laughs> playing music of love and peace. Every time in the evening when the sun went yeah. down, yeah. we had a minute's silence to remember the victims of violence and war. Yeah, okay. So it was, it was, it was cool. I did that for about nine months. And then I got a job um, in a little disco in Tel Aviv in Israel. It was my first ever DJing in a club. Which year was that? 1985. Five. 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 Five or four, something like that. And I was terrible. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> shocking. And it was a terrible, big commercial club. Yeah. And this guy, here's all the records off you go. I didn't know how to mix. So I just put a record I was terrible. Yeah, okay. And they didn't, didn't pay me, it was, it was awful. Which, were you were able to mix it at the time already? Yeah. No, you no, just, just made overlay. So what? First time. <laughs> I just put a record on for the next one. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> yeah, 
nice, nice stories. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody understands this. Uh, yeah, we try to keep it in simple English, but you know, once you're in the flow, like Steve, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. So it was terrible the first. Yeah, and then, and then later. So then, then, um, uh, then I came. I finished the Voice of Peace, this yeah. pirate radio ship, and then I came back to England and I got a job on BFBS. So we all know BFBS. Yeah, Voice we're gonna come to this uh, later. Now maybe use. Uh, Select my, you know, mix that. Uh, yeah, come on. You gotta love that. Yeah. So this is a tune from one of the guys on your label. No yeah, we're gonna come and uh, we're gonna talk about this when you, uh, once the mix is finished. It's really hard to. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here, come, go. With all kind of tricks, my DJ quite like a sunny day. <laughs> yeah, you MC, MC. You know, you have to have Mr. Freddie Day. That's yeah. what they call mystic, right? Yeah, we're going to so talk about him as well. Yeah. Well, you know, this. Uh, I remember the times when, uh, yeah, you, you said you, you you were coming to. Uh, you started a BFPS. Just to make a, a quick step to it, I remember when I sent you from my label No Respect Records, or mm -hmm. I gave you on parties the white labels from new stuff. You see here No Respect Records. Exit E E E, you know Jürgen yeah, Driesen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dresden, yeah. And I remember, you know, I was always jumping, you know, on Saturday when the show was starting and uh, we're coming later to it. I was jumping, yeah, you place our stuff on the radio. So, yeah. Now's my time. Yeah. Have to play one bit fast. Pitch it for me or just we chop it. I didn't know. know. <laughs> well, you're going to let it play a bit. You've got to let him have this break. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can let it play a bit longer if you want. Of course, it's lovely break yeah. in the middle. So, so yeah. So this guy, Jürgen Driesen from your label, yeah. so he sent me every time he used to send me records. I used to get loads and loads of records. I actually had my letterbox enlarged. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I'd be asleep in the morning and then I'd have to get yeah. up all the time to letterbox. So I got this massive great letterbox. This is Mr. Experience for me. You know, tell me, tell us about something about your start with the You were in the yes. army, or like? Uh, no, I was never in the army. Are you, you, were, no. you were not in the army now. No, I wasn't. <laughs> All right, okay. No, so, so I came back from the Voice of Peace, this pirate ship, and yeah. then they wanted people at BFBS who were prepared to travel all around the world to strange, yeah. weird places yeah. and not sort of get bored and homesick. Yeah. So that was a really good experience for me having been on BFBS uh, on the Voice of Peace. Yeah. So then uh, I got the job and it started in London, and it had uh, six studios in London with all the main DJs from the UK, okay. and okay. they called the shows and sent them to all the different places around the world, of course, including Germany. So I worked there for a while and then I go to Cyprus and I spent three years in Cyprus. Cyprus. Oh, okay, beautiful, beautiful island. Beautiful yeah. and just basically I was there doing a few little shows. This is before techno, so we're talking about 1986 or something like that. Yeah. And I was playing rock, bits of rock, blues, yeah. reggae, yeah. eclectic, all over yeah, the place. Yeah. Pop music, world yeah, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not pop. World, world music, yeah. yeah. Album, yeah. album tracks and nothing pop it. Yeah. And then, um, and then, I started that, that was the beginning of the, it was called the, Sun, the Sunday Night Experience. Sunday Night Experience, and it was okay. all because of Mikey Dredd, he was a Mikey Dredd, a reggae artist. Yeah. And he's got one particular track on there and he goes, da 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 da, welcome to the Saturday, the Saturday Night Experience show. And all right. one of his things, so I lifted that. Yeah. And that was one of my little jingles to start yeah. with. And it was on Sunday, so I had to change that. Yeah, okay. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. that was the reason that the name came out. And then okay. I thought, well, I'll just shove Steve Mason in front and I'm not going to sell the motion. Yeah. So that was quite a It was big, you know, it became big. Yeah, tell us something more about how I'm Danish and then Cyprus. So I did Cyprus three years there, and in that time I also went to Belize in Central America, and I put yeah. a little radio station there, yeah. and then I went to Hong Kong. 
Hong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I lived in Hong Kong for a year doing radio shows okay. there. One second. The Hong Kong thing. Wait. Ja, wir haben also eine leicht, we have a, uh, a little delay here from the speakers uh, to the headphone. On the, on the headphone it's uh, safe. So, yeah, anyway. You make it easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try, you know. It doesn't matter. We have a little bonanza beat mixing, like bum, 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 bum. So, uh, so this is your man Jürgen Dresden, he used to send me records. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's the very, can we give a little close look? This is the A side, straight from heaven, Steve Mason copy, label side. Not my favourite. <laughs> he said, put it on the A side. B side, please play this on the radio. I don't want to play the other <laughs> Scratch it stars. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read that last time. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Ja, Jürgen, hast du gesehen, deine Nummer hier äh, lustig, ja? Äh, not my side, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, this, is, this is one of, from my label, Experience Grooves, and latest becoming Experience 3000. So this is one of my... Conception Vessel, which is the sort of title track from my album, and this is a uh, called um, yeah, it was called Conception Vessel, and this is a remix. This is a remix from outside, very very minimal. And okay. I remember I heard it. The guy gave it to me. I heard yeah. it in the studio, and I was like, yes, it's good. Yeah. And then I played it in a club, yeah. and I thought, wow, <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, of course. Cool. So we'll try okay. and get that in there. Ja, neue Location, ziemlich cool hier. Köln Ehrenfeld, TV Studio. And on the mix, Steve Mason. <laughs> Lovely bit, this. Yeah. Express 2. Express 2. They, they did a lot of good, lot of good stuff. Halsey, really. Yeah. Cranked right up, fits in. Yeah. It? You can't play too many like that because they want it harder. But yeah. You can slip them in, can't you? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice with the strings. That's good. so tech in it. Good cord stuff, yeah. Love it. And we have to wait for the beginning of the piece, don't we? One, two, three. One, yeah. Yeah, live mixing action. <laughs> it's good, man. Yeah. We're not really playing all the records, are we? Just <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're two we are with our colleague Jeff Mills. Uh, 30 seconds playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we do the bass. Records together. I love yeah. that. I remember a guy from Germany came to see me. Like, like he was like, living in England. The German guy living. Yeah. He came to see me years ago. And he said, "But you play all the records together. Why don't you just play one after the other?" Yeah. That's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will just slowly fade that one down. So. so this is the outsider remix from my uh, Conception Vessel track. Really minimal, and it's just like. You know what it's like, it's just this beat going round and round and round. Sorry. The it's microphone. This, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the beat goes round and round yeah. and round. And then in comes the hi-hats and everyone goes, yeah! yeah. yeah. What is it? <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool music. What year was that? This one. Oh my god, you asked me all these crazy yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did it say on there? 95 maybe also, 96, about that. Something like yeah. 95, 96. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, we got to play crispy bacon. Yeah. Well, okay, come on. Put it then on. We just love Laurent Garnier. Now we're going to start before we just Laurent runs a bit. Laurent Garnier, crispy bacon. Everyone Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, uh, course, yeah. A bit Laurent. Stretched. You know, I had Laurent on my party in Cologne. When, and uh, after the party, he went to... He was in my guest room in my house where I lived, used to live. And uh, yeah, he woke up in the morning and said, hey, I have breakfast for him. And oh, we is this the inspiration friends. for the trip? Yeah, maybe. Oh, really? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe, you never know. <laughs> they did a really good job with this track. Yeah, that's pretty really cool. Because we had the original dude. Do, 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 and he's just taken a yeah. little bit of it and just yeah. filtered it. Really nice. That'll do. That's what I mean. This bit—it's just so minimal, and then in comes the hi hat. Yeah, everyone just, just goes mad. Just a dub bass. So we were well, uh, with in Tokyo. Tokyo, Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong, Hong Kong. Kong yeah. Okay. Did Hong Kong for a year. Lived out there, and that was when I was working for BFBS. Not as uh, I was. Basically, as an engineer, I was building transmitters and studios, yeah. but I was doing all the DJing thing in my free time. Yeah. And this guy from Radio One, which is a big station in England, came out to visit to go and talk to all the DJs and everything. Yeah. And even though, because I was just doing it as a bit of fun, but he really liked my thing. So okay. he said, oh, you should do more of that. So yeah. that gave me the confidence to say, I'm going to go back to England yeah. and I'm going to give it a go. So I did. I resigned from BFBS as an engineer, came back to England, worked in London. Yeah. And then I started what was became the Steve Mason experience. And it started off then, it was still playing reggae and blues and that, because this is still like 1987. Yeah. And then in the record, in the radio station, obviously you get sent thousands of records every week. And then yeah. all this stuff started coming in. Like everyone else was just saying, it's just shit, yeah. it's just the same, goes yeah. on and on, it's yeah. the same. Yeah. And I was like, this is brilliant. This is what I've been waiting for all my life. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? it was boring. Music before yeah. techno, yeah. it was a real dark. I, I remember feeling, oh, I just need something more. And this stuff came along, look. Yeah. Goosebumps. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was beautiful. So um, I started playing this stuff on the radio, and it was late at night, and suddenly my mail, because back in those days there was no email, any of this. Yeah. So like we used to get letters. Yeah, letters. And I was getting like, <laughs> like everyone else would get five or six a week. So I yeah. oh, suddenly got 30, 40, 50, and everyone was like, look at your mailbox, <laughs> Steve. You know, what are you doing? I'm playing all the crap records that you throw away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> Ich hoffe, ihr habt das alles verstanden. Das ist auf jeden Fall ein hochinteressantes Thema. Aber ähm, ja, ich hoffe, also wir sprechen ja jetzt hier Englisch und das war auf jeden Fall jetzt mal gut verständlich, was er sagte da. Es ist mein Teil? Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Und ja, wir gehen auf die anderen Dinge. Okay. Ja. Yeah. Yeah, the letters came in and the letters came in, and then they. Um, then I thought, how do you get these gigs? You know, and you know David yeah, Rodigan. Yeah, yeah David. Yeah, so I know, Rodigan, I know Rodigan, Rodigan, Yeah, so Rodigan's rock is on BFBS. He wasn't with the reggae he's, thing. He's, right? still, yeah. he's a massive. Yeah. you know, he's he's what he must be well over sixty now, and he's had a heart attack a few years ago. Oh, right. Like, but he's absolutely, you know, he's on it. He's really cool. Yeah. And um, I went in to see him, and I said, how do you get all these gigs in Germany, and that? And he says. People just write in and give you them. Yeah. And then the next week he says, this guy called Nightlife, right? Yeah. And he wants to, he wants to book you. Ah. And I went, okay. So then I played in this, I can't even remember where it was. It was a really small little place. He booked me for Thursday and Friday night. Yeah. Thursday night, 50 people. Around Münster, that area, right? Yeah, uh, somewhere around. Yeah, yeah. Solingen. Solingen, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, and there was a big pile. I got there, there was a massive great pile of flyers. Steve Mason playing Sullivan. No one had handed them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like yeah. 
five, 50 people, 100 people, yeah. but all the ones that were there had listened to the show and were really, really keen, yeah. but there was only like 50 or 100. Yeah. And then the next night, similar sort of thing. I think the next time may have been in Cologne. Then I got to play in the in Cologne, the Space Club, was it? Space Club, yeah. Space Club, yeah. yeah. With, with um, Marta Gaelic and yeah. uh, Spoon, Mark Spoon. Mark Spoon. And me, I think it was. Yeah. And I played, at that stage, I was playing much more English ravey stuff. Yeah. So it was breakbeats and prodigy. Mm. And, <laughs> and, and like Mark Spoon, or there was that yeah, track was... by Moby that went really, you know, the, the yeah. fastest record in the world. It gets really, really fast. Yeah, yeah. So he was playing, and I was standing there thinking, Bloody hell, this is hard, man. This is so hard compared to England. The English scene at that time yeah. was all whistles, white gloves, <laughs> you know, it was all smiley faces, everyone yeah. really rocking vocals, pianos, mm. remember all that, mm. you know? And that's what I was sort of been yeah, playing, of course, mixed yeah. in with a bit of techno. Yeah, yeah. And then they're playing this really heavy stuff and everyone's going mental. And I was standing there thinking, oh, how's this going to be? And so I started off. Cleared the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. And then there was like three English squaddies, yeah, yeah, English yeah, army people. Yeah, yeah. Always, you know, like, they had, they took their shoes off, they put um, chalk. Yeah, <laughs> chalk in their shoes because they were sweating so much. And they were doing, and all the German guys were looking and thinking, oh, this is good. And then slowly, 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 yeah, we kind of, I played more techno, the people got, and it, it crossed yeah. over and we got, and then I sort of integrated the breakbeats and stuff yeah. with the techie stuff, which I guess was kind of my appeal because I was a little bit different from everybody yeah. else. Yeah. So, oh, I need another yeah, thing, come on. Yeah, interesting, <laughs> also Steve Mason, no? Oh, yeah. alles angefangen hat bei ihm. <laughs> <coughs> so this is, um, this is another one from my label. This is Alpha Helix. So this is a guy from, um, Munster. Munster, okay. Yeah, and he did like this. You know that one? Like this? Like this, yeah. Like this. Yeah. That's what it's called. And it's a difficult one to mix this because it's all the timings are all over the okay. place. Okay. So expect it to go wrong, right? Well, we're going to see now. Interesting stories here to heute beim Musikunterricht with Steve Mason. I'm going to pull it off. This is just so... I think we're there. There you go, like this. Oliver Cosimo. Yeah. That's his name, Oliver Cosimo. He DJs at the Cosmic Club, I think, still there. Yeah, Oliver Cosimo. See, it's got this weird... It's kind of a weird timing, this one. It's hard to mix, actually, because it all comes out of time. It's not too bad. It's cool. It's on. And this is just done on a, probably an Atari or something like that. You know, it's like back At the in the time, day. You know, there was not much. You, know, you, had, uh, you had this. A Chari thing or the yeah. Commodore thing? Yeah. yeah. We, I worked a lot with a guy called yeah. Pete. Peter Hanke, yeah. who was the guy that I started making records with. Yeah. And he worked, we used to work in his basement underneath his flat in yeah. Cologne. Yeah. And there was literally an Atari and it got so hot, it just one night, halfway through a track, it just <laughs> blew up. That was the end of it. Yeah. We lost the track and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the case? Yeah, yeah. There he is, Laurel. These are well worn records, 25 years, look at that. <laughs> yeah, almost 30 years. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. It's 2017, the, the stuff is almost. Yeah. I'm gonna play that one. Ba, 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 Absolutely. Ba, 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 ba. I love this, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's the last thing which we talked about? <laughs> What's uh, about uh, Münster and this uh, Space Club Cologne? Oh, yeah, with, Space Club in Cologne, yeah. yeah. And that, that kicked off. And from that day on, yeah. suddenly, Gig, 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 gig. It was really crazy. Then suddenly I was booked up for months ahead. You know how it is. You just do know, a gig yeah, yeah. and it just takes yeah. off and suddenly everyone's phoning you. And suddenly then I was like DJing all the time. I gave up my other job. And yeah. from then on, that was about 92, three. Yeah, it was, a, it was the beginning, you know. Yeah. I remember, you know, when I started with Ramon, the label 1991. You know, I, was, I yeah. used also to play in a big, big club like the Königsberg in Krefeld. Um, many people know this club and uh, 
And then we, we, I did this track, Who is Elvis, uh, yeah, with, yeah. with Ramon, and uh, yeah. suddenly, you know, people wanted to book, you know, you me. As, one big thing. As a DJ, and I said, wow, this, you know, fuck off the commercial club now, I'm gonna go and play on rave parties, you know. There was the thing I waited all my life mm. for, you know, to play, to buy records and the yeah, stuff which amazing. you love, and then play you just unknown feel tracks, not pop, no, 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 nothing, you know. You just feel so free. lucky. Lucky, you're free. lucky. You're, lucky. You're suddenly, yeah. all you're doing actually yeah. is, you know, it's yeah. not hard, is it really? The mixing, okay, you know, and then suddenly you're yeah. there and you're, you know, yeah. everything's just fantastic. You go and these people, yeah. are, is this me or you? This is you. Yeah. We changed the size. I don't know how we are. Oh, it's the wrong size. Yeah, it's, the right. it's the right size. Yeah. Nice. Take the bass up. Ja, nicht ganz einfach zu mixen hier heute, weil wir sind in einer neuen Location. Die, die Anlage ist noch ein bisschen weit weg. Wir haben ein kleines Delay. Ja, wie gesagt, das müssen wir fürs nächste Mal mal die Boxen ein bisschen besser platzieren wegen dem Delay. I just explain with a mix in the delay, you know. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <lacht> Dave Clark, Klassiker. Classic, dude. Yeah. Absolutely. Big one. Yeah, really. He was such a guy, wasn't he? Really. Yeah. With a disco sample. The sound he made, the yeah. sound, the bass, the way he. That's the thing that's yeah. so unique about it. You know, this disco classic, I think. I think the disco sample is from a track from Gene Chandler. Gene uh -huh. Chandler, one year number one. I think, I'm not sure, but I, I thought, you know, I once Googled where the sample was from. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Did he pay for it? <laughs> now, this is completely different. Yeah. You know this one? Not yet. Oh, Adam so Freeland. Like, yeah, Adam Freeland. I will have this one too with a with a Nirvana sample. Yeah, but it might be a bit too slow. But anyway, we can just chop it, you know. I have to play full speed. Yeah. If it's, if it's a mix down, don't fit. We just talk. Okay. You know the funny thing is about the new system when you work on CDJ players, they have a knob called Master Tempo. Yeah. I so. Know. Yeah, so if you speed it up, it's just the same, the same, the same key. It's taken the, taken a little bit away. Yeah. Do you think? I quite like well, it when somebody comes up to the stage and bashes into the decks and all yeah. everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> it shows it's live. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah. Um, so where were we? <laughs> where were we? Well, um, we were in. Um, you know, tell me about the experience thing. So how long did you work for for the for the radio? And yes, yes. Well, it started what. 1991, something like that. Started yeah. doing the show, it became big in like 92, 93. Yeah. And then I did gigs and then that went on until they sacked me, I think. They sacked me in about 2003, something like that. So it was still experience, 2003? Something like that, I think okay. we finished yeah. then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and that was basically, because it was so different from yeah. everything else, it yeah. was like, we now hand over to another radio station where we play the same beat over and over again for two yeah. hours and have yeah. this old bloke going, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so they used to have an awful lot of people that would write in and say, we absolutely love this show. And an awful lot of people that would write in saying, we absolutely hate it. Why the hell are you playing this shit? You know? And a lot of the people that wrote in were German. And yeah. the, the radio station was meant for the British forces. Yeah. And there were all the, um, so all the ravers, all the raver squaddies in, 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 in Hanover. Yeah. Yeah, you know, things in there. Yeah, with their little, and they came along with all their whistles. And yeah. all, I remember all that. You know. And that was that was great. But mostly popularly in the middle of Germany, north, uh, really. north Hamburg, and north, Cologne, north, where the British, where the British forces, where you can Berlin as well, where the, where, where the BFBS was broadcasted. Yeah. <coughs> so in the south, the people from South Germany, uh, where the American forces were, yes, yeah, yeah. they don't know you that much, but 
Anyway, you had a big name. I did have I did have some gigs down in Munich and that. There was, okay. Bizarrely, there was one. It was a massive rave in Munich. I can't remember. What it was. Some big. Where they travel together. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and I played was, there as well. I yeah. think so, but I didn't play because I was booked and I was yeah. on the fly and everything. And it was on the Saturday. And on the Friday, I had a gig somewhere else. And I got back to the hotel. Like six in the morning, I was really ugh, like this. Yeah. I got up, went for a glass of water, had a glass in my hand, fell over, and no. the glass Ow, cut fuck. my hand. There it is, cut the hand. So I'm literally like this, and I'm going. It's pitch black in the room, like like this. So the, the, <laughs> the walls, walls are, the walls are <laughs> blood everywhere. And I call reception on the phone. It's pouring out here. So, uh, ambulance, ambulance, ambulance. So I went to hospital, yeah. and then I they did a certain. Really nice guy. He wrote yeah. to me afterwards. The yeah. next week, I had a request for him on the radio, yeah. and uh, I couldn't play because I couldn't move my hand. Of course. So yeah. I rang them up. You know, I told Yana, my manager, yeah. and he told them, "Oh, we're running out of time. We'll just go into this." One. Yeah, yeah. And I told um, him, and he told them, but they didn't believe me. <laughs> no one yeah. believed me. Everyone thought I couldn't yeah. be bothered to go to Munich, yeah. and it got me a bit of bad publicity there. It's yeah. a shame because it was actually yeah. true. Because I don't lie about things like that. Why would you? Right, right, should we go? Just it's on probably it. not going to. Um, go on, do some. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How'd yeah, you do that? It's one of those clever little buttons. You know. <laughs> and he's put it on the wrong speed. <laughs> Okay, well done. So yeah, and, and you're next now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it like this with everybody else on the camera? Yeah, they they're much better. They don't than have me. to think about the walls <laughs> <laughs> on the plan. Ah, <laughs> oh, listen to that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right, where's this one going? Yeah, it's a sign of saying that's what so. Mit einer so nicht der ersten Bootlegs, uh, one of the first, uh, I switched to German, sorry. Uh, one right. of the first bootlegs maybe um, by Adam Freeland uh, from, uh, he sampled Nirvana, this is white label. So, yeah. It's really, yeah, that was a killer. I remember that. that Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know, every single time you play. You know, I remember this when I was, when the Nirvana came out, the, it was 1991. Something or 80, no, 80, 80, 80, 80, 89, 89, 89 yeah. something. Yeah, I remember I was driving from, uh, from, from where I worked in Krefeld. I went uh, sometimes in the morning, uh, Saturday morning, when uh, Sunday morning, five o'clock, when my club was closed. I went to Frankfurt to DJ Duck and Dorian Gray. Have you, heard, have you ever heard yeah, of yeah, the club? Yeah. Yeah, Dorian went to DJ Duck and um, they, was, they were open till 12 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning, Sunday morning. And I remember DJ Duck playing through all these Belgium techno things and at nine o'clock in the morning he played Nirvana oh, original. The original. First, like, oh, two, really. Everybody, all the ravers yeah. were great. It's going one of those records that crosses yeah. all boundaries. This was crossing, you know. So and doing a, a bootleg of it like that was very, very clever. Yeah, really. yeah. And it really worked, the production. Yeah, it was, so it was, we, we, I was, you know, I was like, you know, everybody was, you know, at the morning time, like, ah, and then some, this oh, Nirvana original, but wow, that was good, crazy. Yeah. Well, back now to, um, yeah. Uh, about this, uh, tell me something about the uh, rave things, you know? This, well, this, this should I tell you a story about you? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I can't. Maybe not. Was <laughs> it, it, it Bielefeld? We're not going to tell that story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, 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 we were playing together, yeah. and you were having more and more success, and you bought some fancy car, didn't you? Yeah, 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 some, yeah, yeah. Mercedes 360, <laughs> some top, whatever it was. And he always used to, he always used to call me yeah. at home, didn't you? Yeah, like, yeah, on yeah. my phone. Yeah. And then I moved house. But you didn't know. <laughs> so the woman who, and your phone messages, he's like, Hey, it's Steve Aiden, I'm having such a great time, isn't it? With all this yes and his mad stuff. So then I moved house. My phone number stayed with a new person, this <laughs> young lady. So you never know this. So she used to get all these messages from you. <laughs> she phoned <found> me. <laughs> After six months, she said, Steve, you have some really strange friends. They keep leaving these crazy messages. <laughs> Well, that was you. That was me, you know, I was crazy a bit. So, of course, I, back in the days, yeah. I was more crazier than now. We are, we are getting older now, but, you know, yeah, we're still young. We're still young. Yeah, so, never really yeah, crazy. crazy. Yeah, I remember, uh, tell me um, about uh, some, which was a uh, uh, gig which was, which was in your mind as a mind-blowing one? Well, Cosmic oh, Club, I think. Cosmic Club, I Cosmic think. Club, Cosmic Mister? Club and End Art in Durin. Yeah. There was a little place there that was really, it's just like the vibe in there was really good. Hanover. 
Hanamag. Hanamag. How Rose can Club. we ever forget the Hanamag? And before the Hanamag, of course, there was um, oh, the Weltspiele. 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 Yeah. yeah. So I played. That's one of my early gigs. There was this girl who was had been one of my fans on the radio, and she wanted me to play at her 18th birthday party. Yeah. So yeah. she booked me for that. It was Sabina. Sabina. Yeah. I remember her. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. she organised this rave, and it was rad. And it was like they, you know, you could pitch the decks inside, you could make them go faster. Than yeah, yeah, I remember. So yeah, I got there same. and yeah. I'm used to the normal decks, you know. Yeah. And they were all like super, super fast. <laughs> so every record you played was like 160 <laughs> beats per minute. It was just everything was just fast <laughs> yeah, in yeah. Germany, wasn't it? You're yeah, totally yeah. into You know, we did what we did with some tracks, with some tracks you could, which were on 33. Uh, you can play them for 45 minus 8. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did like that. Yeah. 160, 160. Here we go, listen, yeah. this is the bit. Yeah, huge. This is. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a bit loud, man. We're into the red. Yeah, yeah, it's a red. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Now. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 just do it. Here we go. Acid. Acid. Nah. <laughs> This is me and Jens Masters. Jens Masters. Jens Masters. I know met him. I see Paul. Yeah. Yeah. So he he lived in um, England. So I lived very close to him. And we yeah, met together. Yeah, same as the same, same Two bald men. <laughs> two bald men. That's yeah. me. Yeah. So he lived just around the corner from me. I met him at a gig. Okay. And I said we've got to do some work together. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah. we got on really well. You know, you know the thing about this. Um, his track that always many people think Luke's that Luke then thinks is my track, but do they? everybody oh, because, <laughs> because they have the, the same name. name Jens, yeah, of course. And, and uh, I tell, tell everybody, no, that is not me. Luke's and things. This is Jens Master, a friend of mine. It's not my track. He made now for everybody in the world. Loops and things is not my track. It's from Jens Master. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You know that. Ah, one, okay. But don't play it right from the beginning because we'll be here all night. Well, maybe. <laughs> you could just fade it under. Yeah. That's a classic. I yeah. remember buying that. This is um Okay, I don't know, plus eight, isn't it? I don't I remember going to a record shop and the guy saying, You've got to have this record, you will play this for years, you will it, and it's absolutely it's an all time proper classic. And this is one of the biggest tunes that I've ever made with Jens. Me and Jens made this. He used to come to my little house. Every week. Yeah. He was a real funny with the coffee, because I like really strong coffee. Yeah. And I'd make my, make my double espresso. Yeah. And something, because I did it, you know, on the radio, I'd get guest mixes in, and he did a guest mix for me. Yeah. And so okay. it's like this, but in the Yeah, okay, that's cool. And, uh, and I said, what do you want? Yeah, it's nine in the morning, we had to get it done first thing. Yeah. And he said, oh, just give me a coffee. So I gave him a really strong coffee. <laughs> and he started shaking. <laughs> <laughs> he had to sit outside for 20 minutes. <laughs> Bloody wind. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a great guy, he's really funny. We had such a laugh in the studio. And again, so he was one of, also he played in, in Hamburg, he was from Hamburg. Yeah. yeah. So he was from Bremen, he was, in Bremen, he was in Bremen, no, no, but he Bremen. played in a, in a, there were guys. Opera from, House, is it? Opera House. With the open ceiling. Opera House was, a, um, there was a, in a rock club in Hamburg called the Grünspan. Uh -huh. It was a rock discotheque from the 60s. And uh, every Thursday night uh, in, the, in the 80s, the guys from Berlin, in, they did this opera house party there, yeah. mm -hmm. and he was uh, he was one of the resident DJs there. Oh, yeah. 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 
Yeah. So I'll get to know him there, you know. He's still playing. Yeah, He's playing next the next week. I play with him uh, in Hamburg um, uh, on a, on a party. Is his birthday or his 25 years? Or something? No, no. It, it, you know that. Uh, we're playing next week, but we, 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 when this show will be broadcasted, it will it's on the past, you know. Okay. So uh, yeah, but we I think we play next week together with Kala, and it's a, it's a, you know, um, I have to tell this. Uh, I was really sad when uh, last year one of my very good friends died, uh, Mr. Gary D from Gary Hamburg. D, yeah. yeah, it was, you know, we grew up. Yeah, when we were young boys, you know, with disco music, we were changing records, and uh, I was really, you know, I was really sad when he died. And this is a party for him, and oh, it's a party for him. Yeah, he, is a, he played. He, is, he was a transcore godfather of Hamburg, you know. He was. Yeah. yeah. Maybe in the future we will do a special. Uh, with, and I invite some Hamburg guest DJs. Yeah, Gary D. Uh, Gary D. Special, yeah. yeah because you know, you know, he's my friend. He was my friend, and yeah. he um, made this music trans transcore. A hard trance for Hamburg. Yeah. Yeah, he was yeah. Okay. Oh, you ass. 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 Are you going to try and mix it? Nice. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. <laughs> I always, yeah. I always <laughs> use the bit at the beginning, so it's okay. <laughs> it's <such easy. laughs> you went for the hard yeah. option there. How many more can we play? Well, about four, maybe. Oh, four, okay. Sure. We're going right. to so look for go. the next record we've and I'm going to check the time. Well, we, I think we, we have some, uh, some things which we can talk about. Uh, well, um, how was your collection uh, connection to to Cologne, you know, Yina was your yeah, manager all the yeah. time. Yeah, well, that was that was all because of that first gig in the space club. Yeah. Was and it in the first or was it in the warehouse location space club? No. Because of the, the original the, space club in Bensburg. Bensburg. It, it was Bensburg. Cologne. It was a big place and it was very very hard. Big place. I'm sure it was space club. Anyway, yeah. I, And the guy that promoted it, I can't remember his name. I never saw. He never did much more. I don't know what yeah, happened. Yeah. They did, the, they did the space club in another location in Cologne after uh, okay. the, uh, uh, the first location was in Ben. The first place was in Benz, Bensberg. Yeah. Very small club, was a, a, a normal club. It was a very small city next to Cologne. Uh -huh. And then they, they moved to the um, Wilhelm Mauser Straße, where the, the warehouse. When we, then they moved the space club into the city. Yeah. Jena made the warehouse out of it. Ah, and that's that was that. Was, so I met Jena at one of those previous gigs. And I said to him, I need someone in Germany to do my stuff. Mm -hmm. And he said he would do it. So yeah. that, that, that's where we began Cologne. our little yeah, yeah, yeah. Journey, you, know. you know one thing, I remember, you know what, what, what was cool? I remember this. This was, this was only, it was, this was, das war einmalig. Das war, uh, when uh, the carnival in Cologne was. Yeah. When, uh, you know, Jena told me, yeah, I, I made a, a, a Verein. I made a, 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 a Erster Kölner Techno Verein. And, uh, and then he said, yeah, I have a truck on the Cologne Carnival. Mm -hmm. And Steve is going to play it. And I have the, yeah, Col I Cologne, Co the, Cologne, the Colani truck uh, as the van, you know, with yeah, the, yeah. um, the Scheibenwischer, with the yeah. helicopter Scheibenwischer. And uh, yeah, I, I remember, remember, you know, you playing acid music in the Cologne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's, that's the one where crazy. they cut the ties off. This one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Because because that gig, so that we're going down the road. It's, it's full. It's yeah, like, it's like all the Motaxu. It's like, like, yeah, yeah. It's like a small love parade. Isn't yeah, it's but not, but not, but it's but not, not kind it's of the biggest techno. thing in Germany. Though, and there's lots of normal people there. Of normal it's music. It's just German blasphemy. And, and then we were coming out. We are the future. And then there was this. one, I just remember. I was standing there, and suddenly I see this beer bottle coming towards me. Again, it goes and catches it. 
Yeah. Really? And someone obviously just went like that, threw a bit full beer yeah. bottle right across the crowd. It would have killed me. Oh, wow. And Yenna just put his hand up and talked like that. <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh. <laughs> 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 I was so... And the other thing with Yenna, right? We had a, a, a big van. We were driving to a gig in a van and I had a side door. It was really hot. Yeah. The door was open. I had my hand like this out the door. <laughs> and Yenna's driving. Shit. <laughs> Stop, like this. Door closes, my arm oh, in the door. door. And I just go like this, literally. <laughs> Otherwise, no arm. <laughs> Two lucky escapes yeah. in Germany. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> now, this isn't going to be in time. Because... Oh, ah. whenever you play this, what happens? It doesn't matter how many years after it was released, this is, everyone this goes is mental. One of the most all-time, uh, big hits of all time. And you know? it was ripped off by somebody, wasn't it, remember? Somebody did a bootleg. Maybe, I don't know, but the, the Rolando, yeah. DJ Rolando, you know, um, I heard this <laughs> track first, uh, remember? In the Tresor Park, uh, after the Love Parade, when Sven, you know, Sven Wick, my friend, played this track uh, at the Tresor Park on the after show party it's from the Love Parade. Just and, uh, yeah. Phenomenal. Underground resistance. Not typical yeah. sound for underground resistance, but the original label, Beautiful. you know, Rolando. And right? it's so like the, the production, that it's so mid range, isn't it? Really, uh, whenever you play it, it just sounds so loud yeah. compared to everything. Energy. It's and this, of course. <laughs> I love this tune. I love this. Okay. That's your pleasure yeah. to mix that. Okay. In. And it's the strings. You've got the nice groove for the strings. Not yet, obviously. Unmixable. Oh. Don't worry, just play it because this one goes into a nice break at the end. We just sing. Yeah, we've got dog. Don't worry, man. Yeah. So, so where are we now? Where we? Yeah, where? about the good gigs. Uh, any bad gigs? Uh, bad experiences? No, I had a lot, no. you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. I mean, the only thing that I find kind of annoying is when the stuff doesn't work. You know, like the speakers shit. Yeah. And the records are jumping because the feedback yeah, from the bass and all that. That's right. And oh, then well, everyone, yeah. nobody knows that, so they all come to see you, mm. and it's not great mixing. It's not great, and they don't think, oh. The DJ is shit, no, the DJ, they just think the DJ yeah, 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 yeah. It's really, so I find that really annoying. So I had it in my contract, it was quite clear what I needed, but obviously, yeah. it doesn't always work. So that can kind of get annoying. And people all the time, you're in the mix, and like, Steve, 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 what's all right? Yeah, come here, come here. And I'm like, I'm trying to mix it after the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I've yeah. had the best time. Yeah. I mean, you too. I mean, it's, we're so yeah, lucky. We, had, we, had we some rode nice, that way. Yeah, we had some nice parties, some private parties as well. Yeah. And yeah, back in the days, you had a, a companion, uh, which was on the mic. Tell us about oh, how, Freddie D. Yeah, yeah. How, how came that? How did you... Well, that was interesting, yeah. So, Freddie D was MC Mystic Man. Yeah. Massive, great, black yeah. guy with big dreads yeah. and really cool. Yeah. And I met him at a party, and he was doing, like in England, it was very much the thing of big raves to have MC. I remember that. Everyone I hated had everything. I hated that, but... Yeah, yeah. The, the journalists didn't like him, because yeah. even when he came and did stuff with me, a lot of people said, why don't the man shut up? We want to hear the music, you know? But then, like, in other ways, it was... It was, it was special. It was special. special. And I did this show on the radio called the Valentine's Rave. Yeah. It was one of my shows and I did some, it had some effects on it to make it look like it was in a real rave and everything. Yeah. He did some MCing for that in the studio. And that show is probably the most popular one on YouTube and everything. You can still hear it. Yeah, okay. And there's mistakes on it and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not very good. But the atmosphere, yeah. the atmosphere about it was really, really okay. something really warm. And I had, after that show, my rec, my, my, the, the, the letters coming in from the people suddenly went really massive. Okay. And then they put me for some awards. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, I didn't did. win it. <laughs> they nominated me, and being nominated yeah. was big enough, really. Yeah. And all this, so suddenly I became a bit more established, I think, after that. But yeah, so he used to come along and came along to quite a few gigs and just talked over and did all this sort of uh, sounds of TV, sounds of TV, sounds of TV. <laughs> 
Get him on, let him let him have a bomb, let him bomb. Yeah, he did all that. And it was good fun. And then I'd say to him, I said, just do like 10 minutes yeah. and then stop. So we have a little bit of fun and then the music goes on and people can get into it. But yeah. it worked well. But then he, you know, he, he's more into the reggae and, and hip hop and, and slower house. Yeah. It's really hard to rap over of course. this speed. I 150 beats per minute. I remember, you know, I remember this one. Uh, when we were the first time with Interactive in England on rave parties, mm -hmm. you know, and we came when we, you know, who is Elvis, mm -hmm. Dillo, and some of the, of the older Interactive stuff, we were booked on these rave, rave parties. And then we came there, and the first, the funny thing is, we came uh, with, with, a, with a bus, you know, with a ferry. To, uh, and uh, Mario de Bellas, he was driving, he was our tour manager. And then <laughs> I was sitting next oh, to him. I said, Mario, you were, wrong, you, were right, you were driving on the right, wrong side, you know, this is England, you have to drive <laughs> on, on the left side. <laughs> you know, we were ghost drivers first when we, came, when we arrived. <laughs> yeah, then we came to these parties, and then, you know, I played my set, and then after Interactive was on stage with Ramon and Mark Innocent, and and then later, you know, we I was uh, at the party, and all the time this. And I was like, I was run to the van, you know, I was like, oh, crazy. Why do they have rappers on techno, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, well, that, that was a lot of German people. Didn't yeah. like that. It doesn't work so well with the tennis. But it, it was, was fun and it, it was different. You know, for the breakbeat thing and everything, it, was, it, worked, it yeah. was cool for drum and bass and breakbeat and then back in the days it was cool. But on techno, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's Talking to Mario though, the only man, the only man who's given me a full kiss on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> we were at, uh, what's that place in Dusseldorf by the railway station? Poison Club. Poison Club in Dusseldorf. Yeah. I hadn't seen him for a few years. Yeah. Steve! There he is, kiss me on the lips. He's such a lovely guy, but I didn't like him. He's telling yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, the other gig we've got to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Las Vegas. Did yeah. you come to Las Vegas? No. No, you didn't. The other thing we were talking about is the um, best gigs. Yeah. And you can never really talk about best gigs without mentioning um, Air Raid with mm -hmm. Camel, remember Camel, Camel Moon? Uh, yeah, I wasn't there. there. Yeah, I, I was, uh, but you were, you were, just tell us, yeah. This uh, is not interesting, come on, tell that us. Was, that was so, basically, we flew, a, a plane flew from Germany to Las Vegas and they emptied it of all the seats. We had about, half of it was seats, half of it was nothing. Mm -hmm. Sound system at the end, lights all up inside it. And basically, that once we'd taken off, it was a rave, the whole flight. I was playing on the plane. Oh, yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> You've never I, been I, I only saw pictures of that, you know? Yeah, it was really mad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really loud. It was really loud and it was brilliant. And then we got there to Las Vegas and then they had Camel Move. So it was a big thing to promote smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And we all stayed in this uh, pyramid hotel. Yeah. Which is Mad. Yeah. It had a had a, a river in the in the foyer, <laughs> and you could go on a boat ride yeah. through all these tunnels. It was massive, like this, empty inside, and all the rooms went up at angles. Yeah. Okay. And you could get on a boat, and it was like ten minutes going around the foyer. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And then they had the rave was in the desert. Area 51, was it? Or 41? Area 51, yeah. Area 51, which I don't know, was everything it, it, disappears. It, it, yeah. <laughs> so that's where they had the rave. So there was buses taking everyone out and they'd set up in the middle of nowhere a massive sound system. That's where I met Africa Isma. <laughs> the spiritual son of Africa Van yeah. Bertha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he always used to say, yeah man, yeah. <laughs> And then I did some tunes with him as well. <laughs> I can play one actually. There you go, we'll play that, which is the white knight. Because he's got he had a really good voice for rapping and that it makes it make a bit over top. Come on, you've got to hear this. They did some bloody good tunes. Are they still doing that? I, I don't know if they still exist, but 
this guy who's one well, this group producer team, I think uh, Roman Flügel, still up front. <laughs> oh, that makes me kind of ah. Probably not the best record to go with this, but... Yeah, this is awesome. You, you only play the classic tracks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> it doesn't really mix, does it? <laughs> yes. Cinema. <laughs> also, all is time this classic. the remix? Is this the remix? Hard floor this, or not? This no, is the original. This is original. Yeah. This is the original. Yeah. The hard floor again. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Oli and uh, Ramon they did yeah. a lot of nice really? remixes. Hard floor was, things. They never played much in in the UK, did they? They could have been. They were they were in the top twenty in the charts. They, they could have been massive, but I don't know why they didn't. You have to. You had, maybe you know should have played them more on the radio. <laughs> I played loads of them. They were really good. <laughs> they were very cool. How many more can we play? Uh, I think uh, one or two. One? Yes, let's, let's we'll play do one. This one. Let's do this. Um, the Africa Islam thing? Yeah, well, yeah. this is a remix. Ah, it's life in whatever. Whatever. Clubfoot. Check. So this is me and Jens again. Okay. Clubfoot's a good name. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you understand what that means, Clubfoot? Club. So someone who's got a, bro a, a foot that doesn't work properly Club, is called Club, club, club foot. Club foot, okay. Yeah, so that, that's the name of someone with a bad foot, you know. <laughs> also, obviously, we're in the club. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> it's more break beat here, this one. Okay, then. Techno never had any melody, did it? You know, and the the odd tune comes out like this with a really big melody. Like it's not a cheesy. No, I, I, I never like those cheesy techno things. Like the trancey melodies. I always found that too. I know. I never. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah, yeah. Couldn't, but, but this is so cool. You know, it's a groove. I remember you all also playing ma many acid style things. Yeah. You know, I know that you had yeah. your favor for. So your free tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, yeah. The three yeah. or three is. Yeah, you didn't play in the, in much of today from them? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Life is like that. Yeah. Alright, so this is. Yeah! <laughs> now you can show us something about your special thing. Drop the bass. Drop the bass. Bam! 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 Do you also do scratches? No? <laughs> it's a baby scratch. <laughs> I, I never like. I was never a mad hip hop person. Yeah. I didn't okay. like all people's chat. Yeah. I, mean, okay. I know most people do really like that yeah. roots in hip hop, but it didn't do it for me. 
Yeah. You know, like, I was. Uh, I liked all the scratching. Them, I, was I, didn't a, like the I was a DMC uh, second champion in Germany in 1987. Yeah. Well, I think you're amazing. From, uh, that, yeah. You know, I did back spins with burning records. You know. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Yeah, yeah. Is that the last one? Or we... Yeah, we do one more. One more. All right. So maybe I'll try and find an acid thing. What about that then? We can take the heartbreak. Do you mean me again? You got to make. You know that, where the sample is from? I can take the heartbreak of you yeah. leaving me. It's from uh, from Freak, The Weekend. Ah. Yeah. Cause night and day, tonight, the night, the time is right. Maybe I'll find a friend to spend the weekend. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm a you bad. You missed your vacation. I'm a bad, a I'm a bad singer. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I have a good, I have a good voice. Just speak about it, like energy, flow. That was you, was it? It was me. Oh, was, was... Who is Elvis? It was also me. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> it's the best way because you have to pay for that. <laughs> yeah, there but... was one they, they sampled, um, what was it? Music for the Brain from Unknown Structure. Yeah. I said it on the radio, but, and then they sampled Music for the Brain, and then the next record yeah. suddenly had Music for the Brain. And I played it, and I thought, God, that sounds like me. <laughs> and it was. I wrote to myself, is that me? I've got no problem. You don't have to pay me or anything. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah. really yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so um, so this is Africa Islam on the vocals here in my little studio at home. He was the son of uh, spiritual Afri son of Eric African Bombata, which was uh, the inventor of the Soul Sonic Force from America, the hip hop crew. Uh, he was a dude, or well, he is a dude. Is he, he still playing in Germany much? Or no, I, I haven't seen him a long time, and I don't. I haven't seen him a long time playing or seeing that he's playing in Germany. Maybe he uh, was super scratchy. Yeah, he was. Yeah, of course. You never got a record on from all the. He was seconds. from uh, from uh, from uh, yeah from yeah. the from the hip hop crew, you yeah. know, the Soul Sonic Force and his father, you know, African Mbatha, Planet Rock. That wasn't his real father. His like spiritual. Spiritual father. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> spiritual father. <laughs> so yeah. 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 So I'm. Um, uh, uh, how about you? You. Uh, what's your What's your profession uh, now? So if you don't DJ... Now, I, I, I was about 1995, no, 2005, 2006. Yeah. I decided I wanted to get another job as well, just to and do the DJ more. Instead of being a professional DJ doing it every weekend, I wanted to do it less. Mm. And because uh, you know what it's like, every weekend of you course. lose, you, you lose the of vibe. Of course, and also and the I, gigs, uh, they don't come in if you're back. Yeah, and from... then there was a time when it was all going down a bit, yeah. and you'd go yeah. and you'd... you'd New talents there. came up and uh, the yeah, old, yeah, 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 and it I got a bit frustrating. Yeah. So I just thought, ah, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm going to do something else and I'll yeah. keep this going as my yeah. thing on the side. Yeah. So that's what I do now. So now I'm a teacher. Oh, what are you, <laughs> what are you teaching? <laughs> I teach uh, designing, design making, wood, metal, plastic, electronics. Okay. Sort of uh, on a school, school or where? In a school. Oh. So if you go on some of the um, YouTube things, you see comments about the videos and things. And then suddenly it's like, ah, Mr. Mason, he's a bad man. He didn't like my clock project. <laughs> <laughs> Which, really? <laughs> That's funny. And then it's like, oh, we've got the coolest teacher. You can't believe. <laughs> and then I come into the class. There's a big picture of me on the board. Like, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. But teaching's great because st you're still working with young people. And I love working with young people. Yeah. And it's just... Creative in the same way, uh, but it's very, it's so much harder. It's so much harder than being a DJ. Of course, you have to work uh, DJ from, 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 from Monday to Friday, right? Yeah, yeah that's a normal Friday, job. Yeah. I'm back on Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so tomorrow yeah. in the school, yeah, you will. <laughs> I, look, I look back very fondly at all this. And all the kids, they say, why did you give up DJing? And I say, well, change. I like change, you know. This yeah. is my, Third career. Before the DJing, I was building radio studios as an electronic engineer. Mm. Change is good, I think, you know, and you have to embrace change. But you said I hadn't played any acids. This is yeah. the tune, this one, every time the break comes, I can take the heart break. Oh. <laughs> Piercing yeah. in the brain. Really good, yeah. So, teacher. Teacher um, man. Yeah. Next, next gigs Germany are, are planned already? Yeah, I, have a, I don't do so many. Yeah. 
do yeah, it. Yeah, you're a teacher now, so yeah. Every now and again I come and do it, and it's much, it's, it's in a lot of ways, when you're doing it just for fun, yeah. and obviously you're, you're entertaining the crowd, and yeah. people, but when you're doing it just for fun, there's no pressure to get another gig and all this. It's just, it's so much more fun, you know, I just go and have a real laugh now. And when you were doing it, I had a laugh, but it was like, you know what, it's like three gigs in a night. First gig, 11 to 1, then you're off to yeah, another yeah, place yeah. to drive, you arrive, you're on stage, mm -hmm. and then you've got an after hour, and it's so tiring. I mean, it's great, but it's just nice now to do it less often. Because That's it's right. just more, when you do do it, it's just more inspirational. And the people, phenomenal. Everywhere you go, oh, I don't see you, I used to listen to you on the radio 25 years ago. You yeah. <laughs> all these stories, and it's yeah. just, it's really nice. It makes you feel like you done something with your life somewhere That's right, that's that's exactly. Some yeah, use, you know. yeah you've, done, you've, you've done it Changed right. Changed a few you, people's lives in a positive of course. way. Some people's probably in a negative way as well. But most people, I would hope, yeah. I've had some yeah. positive impact. Some people were bankers, and they wrote to me, yeah. and they said, oh, Steve, I was a boring banker for years and years and years, and I listened to your show every week, and I decided to be a DJ. <laughs> and now I'm a DJ, and I'm doing this every weekend, and I'm loving it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Timo Mars, he was one of my early listeners. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Thomas Schumacher, I think. Thomas Schumacher, yeah. A few yeah. of these mm -hmm. guys, they used to listen to my show early days. They're lovely. I mean, look at Timo Mars now. He's massive, isn't he? Of course, yeah. Doing a remix yes, uh, with, uh, Yeah, he was nominated for a Grammy this yeah. year, yeah. So. I know, with Paul McCartney. <laughs> And all this stuff, yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. I, I don't claim any any responsibility, but I'm so glad that I, you know, I've, I've inspired some people along the way. That's right. To make it. That's right. So. So. Oh. So, this was Steve Mason from uh, from the UK. Um, this was. This Steve, was. I'm still here. Steve, yeah, it's, it's still Steve Mason and <laughs> Mr. Experience and Frank. Thank you, Steve. Uh, <laughs> we <all> kiss now. <laughs> They're glad you came. Thank and, you uh, very much for having me. Enjoy very it. interesting stories. And Musikunterricht mit Jens hat war das aus Köln Ehrenfeld. Und wir sehen uns demnächst wieder in diesem neuen schönen Studio. Vielen Dank, Steve. Und uh, bis schön. zum nächsten Mal. Bye bye. Tschüss. Ciao. Tschüss.